Looking to buy or sell Madden 21 coins? Hit up Discount Mutt Coins for the best rates and top customer service. And be sure to use code RC for 10% off. Those are my guys. I trust them and so should you. Our team, bang, bang. Look at your boy, clean shaven. I got the mustache. This is mainly a joke. I've never had a mustache in my life. Uh, I have had a full-grown beard for you that are new here. New game, new subs, new viewers. I've had a beard for a very long time, for the last year. And I decided I was just going in there to trim it up, make it look better. Cut it all off. I said the hell with it. This mustache, I'm just going to have it for probably the day. Kind of having a little fun with it. My daughter, I have a one-year-old daughter. She's never seen me without a beard, so I cannot wait to see her and see that reaction. But you're here not for the beard. You're here for improving at Madden 20. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you the top five offensive playbooks in Madden 21. I will get to defense in a later video. I have two or three diff different defenses that I really like. To narrow it down to the top five, I still need to, to tinker with that a little bit. So I'll bring you that video at a later date. If you haven't liked these videos, subscribe. It means a lot. Go to MaddenTrip.com to also improve your game. Now, let's, before we get to the playbooks, let's go to the game options. So this is key here. Not a lot of people go in here and make sure you have everything set up properly. Uh, right now, I'm, just, I'm running Seattle on offense, KC on defense. I'm going between a lot of different offensive playbooks, though, because there's a lot of good uh, good offenses out there. I'm going to run down what I think are the top five so you can be off and running and then check out my YouTube. My Madden 21 tip uh, playlist is in the description below, so you can get all the free tips. If you want a deeper dive breakdown on all these playbooks, go to MaddenTurf.com. All right, so this all Madden competitive, just, just go to that. Uh, this, the, this doesn't necessarily matter as much. You always want to kick the ball off. If you win the toss, you always want to kick because you have an advantage to get the ball in the second half. Now, this is where the gameplay helpers, where it comes in that I'm messing around a little bit. Last year, I took, turned off the defense, defensive heat seeker assist. And what this does is user control defenders are steered towards the ball carrier when attempting to run or dive into them. Last year, I didn't like that. In years past, I haven't. I'm going to turn this on, play some games with NC. Uh, defensive ball hawk is turned on. This, uh, this does a good job of allowing you to, to play the ball more aggressive, and that puts you in position to, to make a play on the ball. Uh, the first year that came out, it was very OP. They've toned it down a good bit every year. Defensive switch assist, turn that off. Uh, just, just turn that off. Um, you, you don't want to... It says, when a user switches players to another defender... User movement will be assisted to prevent them from taking their new player out of the play. All right. Now, and that, that's, real, that's really it on the game options, but you want to make sure to, to change that. And, and personally, what I like to do as well, the volume, I, I turn all this volume down. It's just, it's loud. I make videos too, so that background noise can be pretty annoying. I think that's it. I think that's all I do. All right. Let's let's go into the playbooks. Let's go into the playbook. Playbooks. Let me know in the comment section below what playbook are you rocking with right now, and and why. What's like the one formation? So, from let's go to custom playbooks here. So, from a competitive standpoint, the most popular playbooks right now formations is is gun bunch which is popular every year, and they brought back a couple tactics. We broke down a couple of the new things they brought back to Bunch this year on the premium membership. And then also like a trips tied in or, or a gun spread. Those, those are the metas right now. And it's the meta because every year, uh, except for last year, passing has been, been really the, the OP method of, of winning games. And this year it looks like it is back interesting to see how some people incorporate like if you're in a a, a bunch or a trips tight end and you have two tight ends out there then you can audible to like an ace twin so as the year goes on i think some people are going to start doing that but for the purpose of this video what i think of the top the top offense in the game is spread bunch uh trips tight end and gun bunch those are the three main head honchos and then also um 
Ace Twins is, looks like it's going to be very good as well. The inside zone is good, and it is back as well. That's, that's CeCe's baby, so I'll let him show you that. So number five, the fifth best playbook, I would say, is the Atlanta Falcons. So if you click on the Atlanta Falcons, you're going to see, and the reason why is because their shotgun bunch is, is really good. All right, let's just go through. They have the clear out play, which is which is really money. This Atlanta bunch with the the three, uh, the three three receivers there on those little out routes are really good. And I call it Pat Sell. It's going to be Atlanta Sell in this playbook. Atlanta Sell is a very good play along with with bunch trail and the Atlanta verticals. This is a very good the very good verts because the running back is on the route. And this year, since blitzes have not been op. The running back routes and sending five out is very crucial. So, uh, Atlanta's playbook does not have the depth that you need, but if you're the player that can stay in one offense, you can use Atlanta playbook the full game. So, next up, the Baltimore Ravens, the number four best offense. So, the reason why this offense is the fourth best is because they have an amazing spread all right this spread with uh this play circle i broke down on my youtube channel go back description below add 21 tips playlist just just check it watch all the videos you're going to instantly improve circle is one of the best plays in the game you always need a you need always need a route that's on guardable that you need to uh, make a lot of adjustments for and the outside left receiver in this play is like that and you have a very nice deep out route on the outside right receiver along with um, a good running back route. So overall circle is an amazing play. This this formation is really good. I could go on and on. If you want me to further break this down, I definitely can from the four verts. Uh, y sells this is a pretty good man beater as well as um, another man beater, the smash. Those two corner routes are really good. So And you have the read option as well if you have a quarterback. You got the, uh, the what's it? I forget the most expensive Madden. You get the free Lamar Jackson, so you could utilize that. Now, at Baltimore has a lot of other other really good formations as well. I'm not going to fully break that down, but that's the main formation from the Baltimore Ravens. Now, let's move on to the Panthers. Have has a really good shotgun. Uh, it's a, it's a bunch, a different type of bunch. Not going to go into that one yet. I'm going to make a few tip videos on that coming up soon. But if you're a bunch guy, the Panthers is, is a playbook that you can you can look in as well. Now, what else? Uh, so I said four. Um, let's see. There are Oakland Raiders. All right. I don't know if I want to make the Raiders. It just depends, too, on what you like to run. Actually, I'm going to do the Patriots as the number three. No, 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 no. I'm going to do the Raiders. Raiders is the third best playbook. So I ran this along with it. You, last year was called the Oakland Tour, but what's so crazy about the Oakland Tour is it also had the best passing, <laughs> had the best uh, two of the best passing formations in the entire game by far. So uh, trips tied in. First and foremost, you got to start with trips tied in. What makes this trips tied in so good is you have the play X spot. X spot is very good. Also, inside cross, this is a very good man beater. I'll break that down exactly how you can torch man with that play. And then, uh, Verts is a great play. PA counter go is the staple of this offense as well. So, that, that formation is, is deadly, especially when you com combine it with what I thought was the best passing formation in Madden 20 last year. Gun, uh, tight slots, offset, Wait, what is it? Tight slots, halfback week. I'm sorry. Tight slots, halfback week. So I ran the, the play stick. I had a hot route master quarterback. But these plays from mesh spot to this flood concept, which is a cover three, one play touchdown, X dig is a great play. And the different things you can do with this, last year it was super OP because you had a running back on one side of the tie down the other on the line of scrimmage so you can max protect. And the hitch post combination was deadly. So you being able to audible between uh, tight slots, trips tied in, and then with the addition to the new feature, how you can have a, a big package, and you can also audible down to an, an amazing single back. If you want me to break this down, let me know. I'm thinking I'm making even an ebook out of it because it's so deadly. Wing flex close, so then you can audible down to it. It's deadly. So that, um, that to me is was that was that number three. 
I don't remember if that was number three or number two. Now, next up is the New England Patriots. And you could put this one, you could put this two. I'm saying this is number two, but it's all up to you. So I personally don't have a a lot of um with the with the different U trips from shotgun, but other people are very successful with that. Out of this playbook, personally, what I love, like their splits, their split close is always really good. I don't really run split close. They have a really good trips tight end. It is not as good as Oakland. It's missing the X spot play. It does have the inside cross, though. Uh, what else does it have? It ha- it, I know it has the PA counter go wherever it is. There you go. PA counter go. So uh, the patch by post would be interesting. I need to check out how that tight end route works this year. Even the patch Y end kind of is intriguing. But this ha- it has a good uh, trips tight end. This RPO zone, zone alert bubble. I haven't tried it yet, but that could be pretty deadly as well. And the the staple of um, let's see of this is ace slot offset. Now this is known as like the CC offense. Been running it for a long time. Oh one trav last year was deadly. Just one play touchdown, one four six every time from level cells to PA bubble, PA shot <laughs> inside zone. The play post is money. So it depends on what you like to do, but this is. This this offense is great. Now, not to mention they have all these great great formations, and then to top it off with an, an amazing bunch. Inside cross, great man beater. Pat's sell, one of the best plays in the game. Pat's verts. This verts, once again, you're running back with the nice route combination. Corner strike. The draw from shotgun this year is very good. Uh so overall, see their their bunch trail does not have that really good. A uh, post route, which is unfortunate. They don't have mesh post, but they have mesh spots, so you still have that running back. Nice little wheel route. Okay, so overall, from Pat Sale to corner strike, from to the Verts play, they have a really good bunch as well. So these are these are my those are my favorite playbooks. And last but not least, my number one playbook, just for me personally right now, is the Seattle Seahawks. Okay. The reason being, I'm going to give you a little gem, all right? So there is a formation that is really money that people, a lot of people don't talk about. First off, where is, okay, the gun bunch. This is not, this is not, <laughs> this is not what I'm talking about. But the gun bunch is very good. It has mesh posts. It has the clear out. Mesh posts used to just be in West Coast Playbook. So they have mesh posts here, which is really, really good. Inside cross, good man beater, verts, but look at the verts. The trade off, it doesn't have the great running back route. Okay. Bunch trail, but this one has the really good post from on bunch trail. To uh, this, there's a couple other things in here, but but that's the that's the main thing. It has, a, it has the bunch trail, it has mesh post, it has the clear out play, uh, this crossers. It does have verts, but it's not the, the good verts because of the running back route. But the, this Seattle has, I know yeah, it's right, here it is, this should be it. Has this play called X under, where is it? Here we go. Bang. You want a money play? This is a money play upon money plays. This was really good a couple of years ago, and even a, three years ago it was good. Last year it wasn't as good. This year it is back as one of the top plays in the entire game. Hidden gem. A lot of people don't run it or know about it. If you stayed out, stayed this long to the video, just streak that that inside circle receiver and the corner route from the tight end, the corner route from the middle receiver, and that little baby in route, just deadly, deadly. I'll make a video on that if you'd like. That's my number one playbook right now, Seattle. But really, any of those top five, I've... I can see you running. It just depends on what kind of style you like to run. If you like to go between a few different formations, I would say Atlanta is not the way because it has a really good gun bunch, but the playbook is sleepy after that. If you like to run multiple formations, the Oakland playbook has what I would I would consider uh, it has the best trips tight end. It has a um, it has a really it, it has what else it has the, the that tight formation I absolutely love. And then also also audibling down that single back wing flex close if you like a more 
another really good balance playbook is New England from a slot offset. So if you like two tight ends, that and if you ran a slot offset last year, that's a great playbook to start with. It has also a good gun bunch. Has a pretty good trips tight end. There's one or two things missing from it. And if you if you if you're like me and you end up liking this X underplay, it will be hard to get away from Seattle. And Seattle also has a very good uh very very good trips formation as well, which I'll let my boy W get into that because that's his baby. That's his gem. So I hope you guys enjoy those right now are my top five offensive playbooks in Madden 21. Leave a comment. What playbook are you using? Why? And what would you want to see tip wise for me to post on YouTube about, about these playbooks to break down? And if you want to take your game to the next level, go a lot more in depth, go to madturf.com. We'll see you on the sticks. Look at that stash.